This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final, only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Lee Dixon. It is Bayern Munich against Borussia Dortmund. Well, I'm so excited for the players. We see them coming out there. Excited because of what they've got ahead of them. Are they nervous? Looking at them closely in the eyes. Nerves play a big part in games like this, Derek. I'm nervous for them. Who's going to be the hero? the initial 11 for Bayern and you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team high pressing well high pressing high energy I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham it doesn't half work when it works well sometimes you can just get exposed to the back but they've got it down to a tee to be fair well what an achievement to get to back to back finals it really is especially in the Champions League but when you get to a final, you have to win it. And they're confident, they have belief, and they're going to try their best to pick that glorious trophy up again. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Roman Burki begins in goal. Nico Schulz plays with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks. Emre Can plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of Europe. Guerrero. And now Chan. And rattling the post. Emre Chan. And now Guerrero. Hazard. Just couldn't get it through. Keen to take it short here. Laid into the box. And in for Borussia Dortmund. A late goal just when they needed it in the Champions League final. Well, here's the replay. It's a clever play to take the short corner and create a new angle for the cross. And what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. Fantastic goal. How about this? Borussia Dortmund have only gone and won the UEFA Champions League. The best team in Europe. It's official. Well, it's a long, long road. Domestic season and also in cup competitions. But this is the goal they're all aiming at. Some have expectations just to get through the group stages. Others have expectations to win the trophy. And just look at them celebrating. Yeah, these are wild celebrations. They know they've got to drink it in, savour every moment, these Dortmund players. Now for the official part of the presentation. As a player, Lee, it doesn't get much better than this for Dortmund. No, it doesn't. Getting your hands on a trophy. When you think about it, Derek, in each league, there's only the league trophy and maybe a couple of cups. And then this European trophy to go for. Not that many winners in a season. But fortunately, Dortmund are one of them this season. And Borussia Dortmund have the trophy in their possession. A team with a rich European tradition and it's official, Dortmund are number one in Europe. Lots and lots of celebrating will be going on tonight. They won't be thinking about next season for a while. All of a sudden they've won the trophy 
and now they can savour it. And this is really special, getting to celebrate in front of your own fans. Well, it's giving something back. These fans have travelled all over the place following their team. Now they get to join in the celebrations, go into the crowd and give them the cup, that's what I say. Well, then it might never find its way to the trophy cabinet, Lee. Now the chance for a photograph. My mum always told me to get on the front row. She taught you well, Lee. There we have it. The Champions League victors.